Hi guys, Cliff here. Uh, welcome back to part 12 of the Dancing Wings Fokker DR1 build, big build. Um, in tonight's episode, we're going to look at um, the battery mounting box, uh, the dummy engine mounting, the cowl fitting, uh, the pilot fitting, the seat fitting, the cockpit combing fitting, the machine gun fitting, the undercarriage fitting and wheels and basically oh yes the um raven transfer on the side as well as the uh, number numerals numbers and uh, little german writings so yeah join me and we'll start with the decals i think so uh thanks for watching and let's get on with it cheers just printed out some uh stickers of the little Fokker uh, sign. I don't think that was originally there, but I love it. It's stylish. So that's gone on the fin. I've done one already as an experiment. Empty airframe with passenger, maximum passenger weight, pilot weight, I should say, and then the total weight. In case you can't read German, I can't. I've Googled it. Uh, also got these to go on the side of the body, which will go under the Raven symbol, which I will be in possession of tomorrow. Okay, let's, uh, let's offer that up, shall we? I'll bend that camera up. Now, I don't know how much you'll see from back there. This goes somewhere up here like that, where the pilot would see it climbing into the plane. I'll, I'll better just Google it to get a rough idea. And this goes down there. That looks fantastic. And then the Raven will go up here. But like I say, I, I might just wait for that one to come tomorrow. But same there, I might have to wait. Does that look fantastic when you start dressing it up? Right, I will wait, I think. I can't. Um, and I'll research that. But anyway, just what I'd show you that to start the video off with. Okay, can you see what I've got there? It is a Raven. Um, it's a little bit bigger than it should be. By quite a bit, actually. But I'm going to use it because it's the only one I've got. I think it should go okay. It's just going to look mighty impressive. <laughs> big 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 go big go big cliff and that one's going to go beneath it so i'm going to have a go at fitting this sticker the first thing i'm going to do i guess pull that off like that I'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to do what i usually do and that is because I'm not sure of the exact position I want to put it. I'm going to do that and I'm going to stick that back down somewhere over that, like that. Now I can maneuver it about and when it's in the right position, stick it. I'm sort of thinking a similar distance away from the cross to there. I can ignore that bit up there. That's a sort of a similar distance. And then I'm looking at height wise oh, excuse me hello okay so where was I so here we are so I'm just going to position it I'm happy with there I mean the, the wings are there and there so it's still quite visible from there and the top of the plane is sort of level fuselage I should say so I'm going to put that about level like that and I'm happy with that. Getting out air bubbles. I'm just thinking, I presume I rip off the top piece. Yeah, and that'll leave. Right, so now I'm gonna bend that back, remove that there. Bend that up. 
and remove it. And hopefully the white bit will remain on the fuselage and I don't take anything else with it. Yes. Peel it right back on itself else you're likely to lift the sticker and I'm working it as I go to make sure nothing comes up. stunning that just looks amazing I'm gonna give it a give it a light um, fizz over with clear matte lacquer that looks really lovely I'll put that one down there somewhere like that so I'll just pop that in the water this one's a little bit trickier to put in actually put on because they're very very thin I can always make another one if I I'll make a bit of a faux pas putting it on. What I'm hoping to do is just, just a little bit higher. Just once it's free, it's a lot of. I just want to hold it, pull it off, hold it down, and just slide the white paper away from it. That's my idea. I think it's moving now. Yes, right, okay. Just got to pull it off the end. Like that. And then just move that there like that. And then try and get out the. I uh, can't see any air bubbles actually. Gently, gently pat it because it is very, very thin. I'll show you that. Let's see what she looks like. <laughs> Fantastic. And I say it's a bit big, but it's dramatic. <laughs> You've got to admit it's dramatic. I'm going to put that about there. Again, parallel with the top of the fuselage. It's not moving yet. Starting to go. Yep, I think we got it. Just gently slide that off. Stick it down. hoping when I spray it that I get the background disappears a little bit. Okay, that completes the transfers to the fuselage. Um, right, okay, so what we have here is the undercarriage wing. Look at that. There's a hair there, look. If that was a scale hair, it'd be about that long. <laughs> anyway. That's beautiful. So that's going to end up about up there. Four undercarriage legs, which are completely as it left the factory. Let's do a starboard front. Starboard front is that one. And that sits in there. In the original kit, they have these little things made up, which go either side of the leg like that. I made them all up. But I don't like the look of that. It's too chunky. It's chunkier than scale. 
the bar as it is is more scale like so I'm not going to use those I'm just going to use these they need to be rounded up slightly because they are really rough you can almost cut yourself on that probably also because they're at an angle the bottom corner sticks out slightly at the bottom and will poke onto the fabric so I'm going to round it up round I like saying that I want to cover them in red heat shrink and this will make them instant finish uh, of course I can't go past that line because it won't go into the groove this bit that's inside here well, I could leave the piece on the face and glue it maybe possibly but I had figured I would just paint that in red so that's what I'm going to go and do I'm going to round up the corners of these and get the heat shrink out and cover them I'd let you watch the heat shrink in but it's so they're so big I'd do it just over the gas stove just moving up and down like that and it shrinks up a tree so I'll come back when I've got four heat shrunk and filed legs cheers guys okay so I've put the heat shrink on and it's gone on very nicely I've trimmed it so as it doesn't interfere with the mountain and I'm the reds are different red as you can see it's quite a bit brighter so I, I've experimented the, the paint goes on well so I'm just going to paint these and it's a love it's going to be a lovely smooth finish so i'll paint them and when they're dry we'll come back and we'll mount them i've covered them heat shrunk them and painted them and lacquered them and i think they look better so we'll start with the starboard rear which is this one so i'm going to take that sticker off and that's going to go in there I needn't have painted it actually it's behind the wing these are the bolts for that labeled up undercarriage always a good idea to label things up isn't it so this is a big moment guys really isn't it I've rounded off that as I said I was going to to stop it sticking through the bottom of the lower wing okay it goes in there like that and then that Go in there. Right, I've done it up loosely. Uh, all lining up quite well, so hopefully things haven't changed too much. Okay, let's offer the wing up then. Now this is gonna be oh let's get down. Oh him in the crack. That's got to go in there, like that. Okay, it's a start. So look at this one. Big ones go all the way through and into the nuts on the inner rib. Um, hmm, hang on a minute, I think I thought I might put some washes on there. Um, let's have a look. I bet the screws in the other side, then I'll think about what I'm doing. Might pull them out one at a time. Push that out. Yep, there we go. So, uh, there's the axle and it is sprung so wheels now what I've done I've epoxied the tires on but they were a little bit loose on the wheels so I've put these big rubber bands around to stop them from coming off it should be dry now but it's nothing to be gained from taking them off for a minute I'm still going to stick the outer on for which there's a little lip here but I'll just 
just want to offer things up for a minute. Alternative wheel discs that uh, Dan sent me the 3D printing file for. But Dan's discs have a hole cast into the center, uh, which allows you to do the wheels up, it gives you access to the nuts so as you can do the wheels up, which is a much better plan than the ABS ones that are supplied in the kit, which are completely closed over. So once the wheels are bolted up, you stick the discs on, but you can't get them off without damaging the disc. So this is a much better alternative, but they need to be glued on there. They're a nice snug fit. They'll go in there a treat. So it's the undercarriage on. Just got to touch in these screw heads and it's done. And I, I do think the, the legs are, oh look, there's a, there's a mini me at the back. See this, the uh, undercarriage legs are actually quite skinny, not as um, chunky as what Dancing Wings think. So I'm going to go with those. I like it. The fuselage is finished, except for putting on the guns and the pilot, which I can't do um, until I've sorted out the battery. So I'm thinking... I've got two batteries, this is the bigger one of the two. Um, I know Rob built a box with a little lid on it. I'm thinking a bit different, of course. The battery could go in like that, and then the connector could come around here and just plug in. Uh, what I'm thinking is a plywood wall across here with, well, I, I don't think, I can't, I can't join anything to this part of the frame, it's just too light. So it's got to be bulkhead and the engine mount. The engine mount is goes right into the fuselage to here, this tube, uh, and is screwed to the bulkhead and stuff. So the motor could basically it's going to hang from that, and it's going to hang from that by uh, which way would that be better round? Be better round that way probably put it that way it's a little bit lower and it pushes the weight just slightly further forward so what I'm thinking is having a piece of velcro fixed inside here um, maybe slotted into some wood or epoxied in anyway somehow and it would just come around so I'll have a piece of plywood or something along here maybe a little bit on each end just to stop it from going sideways and then the velcro will just go down and stick onto the face of that ply thus holding it from dropping out yeah i think that's what i'm going to do quite happy with that these are weight mind you but i might need all the weight i can get so i'm going to go and find a bit of ply and cut that and bob's your uncle right there's something i've got in ply with then guys um that's what I'm thinking, something like that. There is a slot sort of further down and uh, could go up around there, something like that, and then stick on the face of there. Because it's a little bit tricky to get out at the moment because I'm going against gravity. I can do that, but I mean obviously it will just drop out because I reckon I can do it upside down in the field. Or either that or I get one of those um, sliders that they have for going under cars. <laughs> yeah, so if I fix that up there and cut that a little bit narrower to go between the um, triangular blocks, 
Then again, the triangular blocks don't have to go there, they could go sideways, couldn't they, like that? Could go like that. No. Yeah? No? I think I feel better if they were I could go on the side like that. That's not a bad idea because then it'll be it'll be stuck. That's quite nice. Yeah, I like that. So we'll, if we put those there, that's the correct width already. I'm going to sneeze. Ah. Get a hardwood block, screw the Velcro to it, glue it and screw it, and then glue the hardwood block in place. Right, so this is what I've done. A couple of uh, screws with washers on. And it's pretty strong. Mixed up some epoxy resin. 15 minutes. I'm going to smear that on there. Then we'll, I've got a clamp ready. I can't position this one until this is uh, glued in and I can get the battery offered up. Put that central in there like that. That's that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, well give that um, 15 minutes to cure and then we'll come back. Right, what I've done is to glue, glue in, that is to say epoxy, this in. It's pretty set by now. So we'll just take this off. I also fitted a um, little spacer in there just to give it a little bit of play. don't want to make it too tight, so just a half mil spacer. And I fitted the two bottom rigging. Uh, straps so they'll go like that somehow They're pretty smart um, so to get it out it's going to rock down like that and then I'll lift it out and to put it in pretty good to put it in it'll just go in at that angle and drop down and then the velcro will go over the top and strap on like that. I can just reach in and pull that off. But that won't just pull off on its own look. It's impossible. Just to pull it up and the battery's not that heavy. Beauty of having Velcro, if you should have a heavy arrival, there's possibility that that will push out when I say heavy arrival because I mean crash. I was flying the sock with camel one day and I landed a bit hard. In the camel the battery goes in like that, a piece of Velcro over there. I came down with a bit of a bump and it slowed down and stopped. I think it's on video and um, the battery had dropped out, <laughs> disconnected. And we will uh, install the battery. We put, peel that back, put that in, drop it down, flop the Velcro over, job done. Remove the battery, peel up the Velcro, and there she comes. There, that makes that really accessible then. I may have to make up a special little mount for it perhaps. I've had an idea, if I put a piece of, I'll just use, oh here's a bit of ply, just scrap ply. I'll put the scrap ply, glue, glue some scrap ply, come back, come back, come back. Glue some scrap ply there, and then I've got a gap in behind I can put cable ties through. I think that's the answer. Right. Just for effect, let's just stretch that up. Look at that. Terrific. Very nice. Right then guys, I'm going to give it a lick of paint, and tomorrow I'll turn it over. I really do want to get that in for the final part of this um, this week's video. I, I put a bit of paint on last night so it's actually dry so this morning I'm just going to mount the ESC. Got a little bit of foam in behind there. Not too much I don't think. A couple of cable ties. Let's give it a go. Put that in there. Okay. This has to go to there. So this has got to go down 
here somewhere. Somehow. Somewhere. Somehow. Another thought I had was to put a small block of wood in here and take it to take it to there. Okay, let me fiddle with that and I'll be back. I'm going to glue it on. I think I've mixed up way too much. Way too much. Now I need to make sure and it's looking good. So let's just line that up. Sideways on, how's it looking? Okay, epoxy is dry, that little bit's dry. So, time to um, screw the cowl on. Let's start by putting one in the top. Okay, um, that's the cowl on. Flick it over. Working. Going in. Just tight enough. Not loose, not tight. Right, cowl on, engine in. It's got to be the machine guns now, hasn't it? Is there any reason why I can't fit the machine guns? And the pilot. Do you know of any just impediment? I can't think of any reason. Okay, I've glued the machine guns on, put the cockpits around in, and dropped our man in. August, <laughs> August Raven. Uh, I've got still got to put seat belts around him. Um, so there's a little detail still to do, but yeah, there we are. Looking very smart. It's an aileron cable hanging down. Otherwise, she's good to go. Go where? <laughs> okay then guys, there we have it. So the fuselage is pretty much finished and now we can get on with the wings at last. So my very next job is going to be mounting so now I'll have to put I'll have to move the bench into the middle of the room and <laughs> get the wings going so uh, we'll mount the wings and get them all aligned incidences and what have you and oof, getting close aren't we so thanks for watching I'll put the link to the um, series of videos for this just here and give us a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys, bye. Woohoo!